Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do a full auto join in Power Query. So what a full auto join basically means is it's going to return all rows, whether they match or unmatch, from your tables queried. Basically you're returning all those records which either have a match in the left or right table. In this instance, uh, you can just think of this top table as my left table and this bottom table as my right table. That's how it'll probably usually be communicated. And really, we're just getting all the records from both tables based on some matching criteria. In this instance, let's say, for example, we've, we've got a wholesale car, car dealership. We have uh, make, model, and types. And we've got an inventory that we're getting. And we, we want to combine these and take a look where we are missing some values. So in this example, let's say that uh, we've combined, combined these two tables. And for these VIN numbers, uh, VW, VDD, I'll start with VDD and 1 and 6, we don't have any categorizations for those. And so we know that we're missing categorizations for Lamborghini Diablo and Rolls Royce Phantom. So we'll probably need to add a categorization into this first table. Also, maybe we're missing um, VIN numbers here. And this asks a question or begs a question, hey, maybe we have uh, dodge darts that we want to put into our inventory for God's sake why would we want a dodge dart but maybe we do want a dodge dart in our inventory we don't have a VIN number for that so maybe we want to have a um, dodge dart in the inventory so let's see how we can combine all the records from these two tables together using power query actually quite simple let me go into sheet one here I've got my two ranges of data I'm gonna bring them into power query go to data from table and range and we're going to create a connection only for that first table and we've got our data in here click close and load we're going to close and load to a connection we only want a connection because we don't want to um, mess with that data yet or that table that is table 10 we also want to have a table a query for that table click OK and we're going to bring that in as a connection only to close and load to and we only want to create a connection click OK and we're going to reference our first table to do our full outer join or, or full join right click reference and I will click on merge queries we want to merge based on the headers make and model so press the control key click make click model you can see that it's going to combine or it's gonna I'll put in quotes combine the make and model fields and do the lookup or join with the other table here table 11 press control key on the make and model here too so the join kind that we want is we want a full outer join click OK we will have a, another column here that shows us the results. So if I click on the blank space, you can see it did show the results here. We do have a VIN number that pulls in from the other table for that row. And you notice that there's no value here. You can see that we have two records here that don't have any categorization here. And so this will show up in the eventual output. And if I show on the dodge dart that I mentioned er earlier, this is not going to have a VIN number, right? It's going to be null. And if I close and load, let me load it into the worksheet, it's going to explode this all out. Actually, let me first uh, get the values for the VIN out of this table 11. Click on that. We don't need make and model because that was the fuse that we did our lookup or our joins. Take off the original column name as a prefix we don't need that extra prefix header information click OK we have our years here and it gives us an indication of the records that don't have a field value um, in there that matches both tables so I'm gonna put this into the worksheet click and close and load to and we'll have this load into the worksheet here let's put it here in the existing worksheet in column uh, let's put it in column A20. Alright, and click OK. 
and now we have our values. Maybe that was a little bit too low. Let's remove these records here, or these uh, rows here. Delete. And we have our values here. So we have our values. We have our records from both tables. Of course, we have the blanks here for our particular two items here. Let's make this a little bit longer here. To auto fit, double click to auto fit there. We have our two records here to indicate, hey, we didn't have any type of categorization for that. And we also have our null values here for the particular items, our Dodge Dart sedan, and our Maybach Landole for the VIN numbers. So we didn't get those in the inventory. So, so you can think of the full outer join as a way for you to combine both tables together, look at records and see what we are missing from either one of those tables so that's how you do a full outer join using Power Query in Excel. And just think of it as a way for you to pull in records from two tables and kind of ask some questions or ask and answer some questions of whether you are missing values from one table versus another. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.